hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to add products here in big commerce let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in big commerce i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Adding products on big commerce involves several steps to ensure each product is correctly listed. Now it can significantly benefit your online business and once you are logged into your account, I want you to hover to the left side panel of your dashboard where you can see the products, right? If you click on home right here, these are some of the products that you have. But if you click on the home section, you would notice you have an option to see have the option to add products all right you can populate your store with the products to sell and again you can also hover to the product section on the left side so whichever you want to prefer all right but in this case what we're going to do is click on add right here what will happen is we would be forwarded to the dashboard you can put in the basic information for example the product name SKU is, you can put any SKU that you want. For example, we will put in EL. Product type, so it's up to you. You also need to check the visible on storefront if you want it. I'm going to check that. For the product type, you can choose from physical to digital. We're going to use digital because we're just selling entertainment like YouTube how to videos. Now you can set the default price. It, that's going to be excluding tax if you want to know more about pricing you can hover down below but for now let's click the uh pricing that starts from around 69 dollars brand is you can add a new brand of course you can put in the common good or uh, ofs or saga form we will have a separate video on how to dive deep on these type of brands but for now let's choose the common good now here if you want to have another category because as you can see, we don't have the category for our product. That's a shop all, bath, garden, kitchen, publications, and utility. If you want to add a new category, just click it here, right? For example, this is, okay, so for category, let's say, this is that. We'll click on done. So that's going to be a lot easier for, as you can see, we have already added a new category here. So new categories will not be created until this product is saved. So you have to take note of that. For description, obviously you can put in any information and you can use any AI service, for example. For example, we're going to be using chat GPT, right? Okay, so let me type something like write a product description. about big commerce for example this one all they're gonna do now is for example wait for it you can simply click on this top if you don't want the uh, other stuff anymore but if i suggest you copy this that or simply copy this option right here copy and then switch to big commerce while we're here we're going to enter that Obviously, we're going to make it bold, underline, and a little bit in center. Background color, you can choose that as well if you want. But for now, we're going to choose something that resembles our brand identity. We also have the option to choose a different font style. For example, impact if you want. We can't read it anymore. So maybe like Arial Black. We make it we want to make it like a, a little bit bigger there you go and of course we can add an image here and then wait for it to load click on okay see that we're gonna make it a little bit smaller so you guys can see it for now it's a little bit big i don't know what's happening right now but here we go okay so we have that in place now you can add images and videos as well, but for we're going to click on the upload images again. All right, so that's that. Write a description if you want. 
so no videos for now i'm gonna click on it image selected and after that if you want to upload files that shoppers can download after purchasing the product you can do that as well right now i'm going to click the upload file so that the shoppers can download after purchasing the product this is actually optional you can upload a file from computer or use a file already in the server all right you can put in the description and maximum download is like 69 table around 69 all right click on save now for the product identifiers you can put in the upc if you don't if you know that global trade item number or g10 manufacturer part number mpn and the bin picking number bpn if you don't know this just skip it don't worry now for the default price again these are some of the options that is excluding tax if you want to know more about the tax class you have like non-taxable shipping and gift wrapping for example if you put in the gift wrapping we have the show advanced pricing for that you can put in for example um six and then sale price is nine right msrp are this and you can also put in the uh, tax configuration map of the tax codes defined by your external tax provider you can put in a bulk pricing if you create a bulk pricing rules to offer price discounts based on the quantity breaks is it going to be a, a percentage discount fixed amount or number unit so i'll leave it to you for that you also have the option to track inventory which is we're going to do is it going to be on the product level you have an option for the variant level let's go for the variant level for now you can add variant options to create variants and manage inventory below if you want that click on the add variant option right add variant option or add shared variant options you have to here you can select the best fit your product for example this can it be like color right and click on save variants so these are going to be the defaults after that if you want to add modifier option we're not going to deal with this first because we have a separate video for that on storefront you can uh, have a uh, search keywords right here for example this short order and warranty information all right availability text you can put in here usually ships in 24 hours condition is new right custom fields if you want that we're gonna have a separate video on how to add custom fields but for now we believe that's it click on manage customs all right commodity descriptions once you are sure with this one all you're gonna do now is click on save this is very important you have two options save and duplicate save and another another and save and view products we're just gonna click on save and view products for now all right and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one